All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a simple but interesting card. And when I read it, I was like, this card is broken. And then Randy read it, and he's like, no, it's not that bad. So you guys are going to be the tiebreaker. You guys are going to file the dispute of whether this card, if it was real, would it be broken or not. So this card is called Devious Card Trick. The normal spell card that reads, reveal three cards from your deck, monster, spell, and trap. Your opponent randomly selects one of them to add to your hand. So in the rest of the game route, you can only activate one devious card trick per turn. Just reading it again, that sounds broken as fuck. Alright, so, uh, there's a card that's currently limited, and it's been limited for Kuman ever since Dragon Rulers, and that is Gold Sarcophagus. And, uh, you know, some dispute, oh, it's only hit because Dragon Rulers, well, it's been, you know, a couple years now. It's been like, what? Three years since Dragon Ruler has been gone, and that card's still been at one. We've seen cards, uh, Dragon Ruler cards move. Uh, you know, we've seen that uh, Dragon Regime go up. We've seen that Debris Dragon go up. You know, we've seen cards of uh, Dragon Ruler really move, but we haven't seen Core Super Jew because that card is just stupid in general. Like, I'm just glad that you know Dragon Ruler brought <laughs> that card's attention, and then Gold Sarcophagus. You know, even Necroface I believe went up to two, but Gold Sarcophagus stays at one. And this card is pretty much like an Amiga Gold Sarcophagus. Gold Sarcophagus is a very powerful card despite the fact that no one runs it. You play it, uh, you banish for uh, two turns, and you go ahead and get the card to your hand. And uh, while, of course, Dragon Rulers, you banish the Dragon Rulers, get the search. Uh, Cosmos used to play it back in the Prime. They would play Gold Sarcophagus, banish, and then, you know, Cosmo Town, because the card is face up, and get it right to their hand. Simple as that. You know, it's not like a, a different dimension capsule where the, the card is face down. No, it's face up. So. Uh, this card pretty much does that, except you don't have to wait two turns. You will always get it even out, and that that's power. That's power. Uh, you know, it's kind of like a pot of duality, where you're like, pot of duality, see the next three, I'm going to go ahead and get that. But this is like, hey, I'm going to give you, I'm gonna show you a monster, a spell, or a trap, and I'm searching. You know, either way, I'm going to show you some good shit, and whether while I'm losing two cards, sure, I mean, that's from my deck, that's not resources, I'm going to get one of the cards that I want, always, because you're always going to give it to me, you know? And that's pretty power. I mean, we have a card that's similar to it in the game right now, of course, I'm talking about Tin can, where you know during your end phase, pay that five hundred, uh, reveal three uh, three Cosmo cards. Your opponent randomly selects one. You add one in your hand. The rest go to the graveyard. Yes, it's pretty much just like that, except it's a generic card that anybody can play. And you're revealing a monster, a spell, and a trap. Well, you could do that with Cosmo uh, Tin Can. You can go like all right, Dark Destroyer, uh, uh, Cosmo Town, Cosmo Gel, and get one of them. Uh, this is pretty much that, except everybody gets to use it. Like, that's ridiculous. And, of course, there are some ridiculous setup plays that you can do. I mean, a lot of the meta, I can see a lot of the meta doing this. Like, you can just go ahead and be like, all right, devious card trick. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and reveal, like, Dark Destroyer. I'm going to reveal Call of the Haunted. And I'm going to reveal Cosmo Town. You know, I, I really don't care what you give me. Because either way, I'm getting something good. Because either I get that Cosmo Town, which is nice. I get that Call of the Haunted, which will revive the Dark Destroyer that I just sent. Or Dark Destroyer. Like, it's all good. Freaking Monarchs, you can be like, all right, uh, Pantheism Prime, and then whatever monster. You know? D you know, get the Pantheism. That's great. If not, it's in the grave. I banish it, search. Prime, I mean, get it. Fine. Not in the grave. Fine. You know, the monster. Uh, you know, it could be like an Eidos or an Edia. That's fine, too. So, there is some serious uh, power with this deck. You know, uh, Phantomites, you know. Uh, feel like a Phantom Knight monster. I don't mind getting that or going to the graveyard. A Phantom Knight trap? Sure, whatever. Throwing a random spell, you know? Uh, shit, for goodness sakes, you know, Burning Abyss, some decks run that, uh, that, uh, uh, that, the rich, no, no, the fusion, the fusion spell. Banish it to get the, to get the search, yeah, yeah, do that, send that to the grave too, it's all good, it's all gravy, so, like I said, I just think this card's a little bit too powerful, there's no restrictions, there's no nothing, like, besides the fact that you can activate one devious tr card trick per turn, you even out, and you guarantee to get whatever you want, because, while you may be losing two cards, you're gonna get whichever you want, because you are the one that selected, you selected the monster, you selected the spell, you selected the trap, which means that your opponent's randomly gonna add one to your hand, you're getting what you want, no matter what, and I think that's a little bit too powerful, I mean, I, I thought this card was broken, I really did, like, I was like, oh, hell no, so, you know, I, I'm definitely not for that, you know, uh, and if it was a real card, I definitely think it would be hit, would it be hit too? Uh, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Probably one. Maybe banned. Probably one, though. Just all of the consistency of getting up. You play this, and that's just a power card. But I guess you could say the same thing with, like, Soul Charge and shit. You just get so much fucking play. It's just so good, you know? It's just so freaking good. So, uh, 
I don't know. I don't like I said, I allow you guys to be the tiebreaker. I say it's broken. Rennie says it's not broken. So, in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you guys think about this card. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Uh, it took me a while to find this one, you know. Like I said, the whale is getting a little dry when it comes to some of these cards. Uh, a ton of people are just doing written cards, but then not putting written. So, whenever I click a, uh, the t the, one of the... Uh, threads and I'm just like, all right, well, let me see your fake card and it's just written. They don't put written. It kind of ticks me off and makes me not even want to search up fake cards. And you know, I, while I was on page one, I had to go all the way back to like page six to find this card. So it has been a cool minute. You know, this this po this was posted on the 28th of March. It has literally been an entire month since this person has posted this card. That's how far of it I had to go to get a decent, uh, you know, interesting fake card to talk about because a lot of them are like either just written or if they were just like so plain that it's just like that's not even worth you know doing for fake card friday so found this card i thought i think it's broken randy doesn't tell me what you guys think in the comment section below so i hope that you guys enjoyed the fake card friday i already said that thanks for watching and i will see you guys next friday with another fake card to look at